Hi everybody, welcome to Live Tarot with me, Dream Lynn. How are you? Gonna give this, give the computer a moment to uh, come to life here. And give all of you a moment to get here. So, hi, it's been a minute. So, um, you guys know I'm here helping out my daughter, so just give you a little update. Uh, so, my daughter, you know, she's right now currently a single mom, and she's got three amazing kids, and I am helping out with them. So, I'm busy, 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 and that is why I haven't been on here, but I have been getting your messages, your comments, everything. I've been trying to respond as much as possible, and... Um, yeah, I hope that's helping. Okay, there's that thing. <laughs> there's that FPS thing. Okay, so anyway, give everyone a couple minutes to get in here. I just wanted to um, come on here and do a quick reading. I'll close this right here. Do a quick reading for you guys and uh, say hi and let you know that I miss you and I'm thinking of you. All right. I've just been doing a little bit of pre-shuffle. It, um, a little bit of a pre-shuffle. Let's see if anyone's in here. Somebody drop me a comment when you come in, please. Alright. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and loved Ones. Highest energies for the collective, please. Highest energies for the collective. Highest energies for the collective. There we go. Highest energies. You. We got vision. Hold your vision. Number 43. To find enlightenment, seek nowhere, for it lives within you. So, Spirit is saying to go within, hold your vision, you'll find the answers that you seek inside. Number 43. That reduces to a seven. So, that's chariot energy, cancer energy, about nurturing yourself, nurturing that inner child. This could be all about just doing those fun things that, um, your childlike self loves to do. So just uh, giving yourself some energy. I really like that. Um, yeah, I really like that. Giving ourselves a little energy. I feel like there's something else here, so I'm gonna go again. Um, I feel like there's a little more. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, Maypole, number 24. Reduces to a six, so energy of the lovers, Gemini energy. Um, I am fertile in what I seed, for there is a reason to dance and drink upon the riches that I receive. So, uh, Spirit saying to be grateful, to um, be grateful for the little things, the small things. Notice the little things, you know, the, the small moments. Be grateful for the time that you receive. Be grateful even the time that you receive with yourself or um you know you do need to give that to yourself so being grateful for your relationships those that are in your life this is actually very good all right let's dive into the tarot guys i was going to do this a little bit different because i and no one's in here yet <laughs> but i was going to do this a little bit different and um do all the zodiacs so I thought I would do all the zodiacs but I think we'll just go on with the collective message and open it up and I'm gonna do all the zodiacs here a little bit later I think that's gonna be best I thought at first that I would do that but not so much so I was thinking um, this morning I actually not thinking but I was looking at my um, witches date book and I was noticing that today's the full moon in Sagittarius so we have that going on and Venus is moving into Mercury and the information that I was receiving is um, this could be about love talks, love talks, conversations, having those conversations, um, you know, that are somewhat difficult, but having them because they need to be, they need to be had. This could also be about um, breakups. This could be uh, breakups in the communication. Let me check my notes. What did I write down? This could be about your freedom. This could be about going within and, um, you know, desiring or finding out what it is that you truly desire. Because this could be 
about pulling away from a relationship, breaking up, um, having breaks in conversations. Uh, we do have that communicative energy, uh, you know, coupling it with Sagittarius. You know, that is a, this is a full moon, so it's a release. So we're releasing those things. And, you know, Sagittarians, they like their, their freedom, their adventures, their spontaneity. So I feel like with that um, going on and then Venus going into um, Gemini, that there's going to be a lot of conversations possibly about uh, breakups, a lot of, lot of, you know, moments. Um, this could even just be, you know, a lot of conversations about uh, figuring out different ways to cope or deal with your partnerships. Could be something like that. Finding freedom, finding adventures in your partnerships. Maybe you're a little bit like bored or something. So you might start talking with your partner about like, you know, let's get out and do something. Let's be a little more free, a little more um, spontaneous. This could be that boredom. I get that housewife syndrome. Housewife syndrome. Boy, that's a tough one. That's what I really get. So this could be about, you know, being bored and the, and the whole thing and just wanting to break free. Wow. Okay. Oh, sorry. Still no one here. That's okay. I'll keep talking. <laughs> I will keep talking. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, this is certainly starting to mesh. Certainly starting to mesh. Sorry. I'm trying to get all the cards out here, guys. When you come in. I, don't, I have a small space to work with right here. Where, so, okay. Thank you. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to do some clarifying here, guys, for sure. For sure. So, yeah, so the overarching energy we have, number 43, hold your vision. This is vision. To find enlightenment, seek nowhere, um, for it lives inside you. So, Spirit is saying to go within, figure out what it is you truly desire. What do you want in your partnerships? Number 24 reduces to a 6 about the lover's. What do you want in your partnerships? What do you want in your contracts? What kind of contracts are you writing up? What's, what are you putting into them? I am fertile in what I seed, for there is a reason to dance and drink up on the riches I receive. So what are you putting into those partnerships? What are you wanting? What seeds are you planting, right? And then to hold your vision, to visualize it. See, see the life that you want. See the life that you want. Go inside. Figure it out. Um, so here at the heart of the matter, at the present moment, we have the Ace of Coins with the Six of Coins crossing. So the Ace of Coins, um, right here at the heart of the matter, we have a brand new opportunity to build something. Something re resourceful. Something, um, it could be our money. It could be our bank account. We could be building a new home. We could be building... Um, getting a new career opportunity, something like that. It could be pretty much anything, but we have this brand new opportunity to grow and build upon right here at the center, right here at the heart of the matter. This is truly beautiful. So spirit is saying, you know, go inside and figure out exactly what you want and you know what you want in your partnerships and your contracts. Go inside because you're building a new contract here. You're building something new. We all are. We're stepping and embarking on a new journey. And we do this every time. There's like a release in the cycles, you know. There's a release. There's a let go. And then there's a, a new beginning. So, and we have the six of coins that is crossing this ace of coins. Now, with the six of coins, this is generosity. This is, um, you know shared resources this is harmony balance this is um two people you know coming together possibly even um sharing resources helping to build this is generosity this could be even outside help 
sorry. I'm outside. There's a bus going by. This could even be you receiving outside help, outside resources, outside generosity, and something that you are trying to kick off, some new beginning, something that you're trying to start. So this could be about that. However it plays out in your lives, guys. But there is, some, there is this energy. We've all been feeling it. There's this energy of... Um, we we're coming out of this like kind of um, down, low vibrational energy. I'm not sure if you guys were feeling that the last couple of weeks, and now we're getting this new opportunity. So there's a lot of clarification here, or that is needed. So in the recent past, the night um, we have the King of Wands. So uh, leading the way, you know, um, you may you may have been seen as a leader. Or this could be about leadership. This could actually about even your you. Um, you were visioning a life for yourself. You were building a life for yourself in the recent past, but something may have shifted. Something may have changed that altered that. And there's a brand new opportunity. Now, it could coincide with what you were already seeking, what you were already reading, um, desiring or envisioning for your life. But there's something new here, and it feels like it's something new here with, with a partner, with a partnership whether it be, uh, you know, romantic or otherwise. Um, but there's, there's a shared, there's a shared um, quality here with the Six of Coins. There, this is shared. So you're sharing an opportunity with someone and someone is helping to build something here. Now, what do we have overarching us or what is peeking out on the top, crowning us? We have the Eight of Cups. So we're definitely leaving something behind and it's, it's a vision, it's a dream, it's something that we had that we wanted. You know, um, whatever it was, whatever it was that you're, you were wanting, you may have been wanting, you're now leaving behind because something has shifted in the vision. There, there's been a shift and a change and there's a let go and a new beginning here so the eight of cups coming um, out crowning us we are walking away from something that we desired for something new something different something new now how are we feeling about it down here in our emotions <laughs> down here in our emotions yeah we're done we're done thinking about it we're done wandering. We're we're done, um, you know, overthinking it and all that. We're just done. We're ready. We're ready to go for it. We're ready to start this new um, journey. We're ready for an epiphany. We're ready for a new beginning. With this Ten of Swords being down here in our emotions, you know, we're definitely ready. We're done. We're. It's like. No longer being the victim, right? Because the Ten of Swords is the victim. So it's like no longer being the victim. No longer being the victim to something. No longer being the victim maybe to others possibly with this sharedness coming in. It could be, you know, putting yourself first instead of, you know, always putting yourself on the back burner or something like that. So, I mean, however it's playing out here for you, you are at this place where you are just like, you know what, I'm done. I can do this. I can, I can get to where I want and this opportunity I want and I'm going to go for it. And I'll leave behind whatever I, I need to, to get to where I'm going, right? I will leave behind whatever I need to, to get to where I'm going. And then in our, um, In our, in our advice from spirit, and I'm going here first because it kind of coincides with this Ten of Swords. We're ready for a new beginning. We're ready for um, seeing something different. And spirit's advice to us is to um, gain clarity, right? Gain clarity. We have the Ace of Swords right here. So gain clarity. And Spirit started with this number 43, vision, to go inside, to realize that the answers that we seek are all inside of us, that nobody else can help us with those things. So Spirit is saying, you know, to to listen and, and listen to these ideas, listen to these epiphanies, follow the instruction and gain clarity because there's clarity that is required here. And with Venus going into Gemini today, what time is that happening? 
It's happening at 4.30 today, depending on where you're at. I'm in West Virginia, so it's happening at 4.30. So with Venus going into Gemini, there's going to be a lot of communications about love. And there's going to be a lot of, um, you know, desires and those kinds of things that end that communication. So I feel like what Spirit is saying is being open and receptive to new ideas of you know new ways of seeing things new ideas about how you see love how you engage how you communicate those things and being open to the other person's side because you know we're we are all in these relationships together we're partnered we have a partner and your partner has you know feelings ideas desires that are different than yours so we have to spirit is like you know be open to something new and something different um you know share share a little more even even sharing a little more of yourself and you know and your partner being open this is all about just being more open to new ideas and new ways of seeing love and allowing the walls to come down a little bit and just kind of open yourself up to the possibilities because there is a brand new beautiful beginning here right here at the center there's a brand new possibility and it could be with somebody that you know that six of coins like i keep saying it, it is a harmonized it's a union there's two it's you know it's shared so it's generosity and kindness and um help so it's about helping each other and we can help each other by being more open to the communication being more open to the ideas of from other people maybe that are a lot different than you know from us um that maybe they see things differently and and you know so spirit is like saying hey open yourself up to the possibility of seeing something differently so that's kind of what i'm getting there external influences you know i really don't like this energy but it's here and um i hope it will dissipate over some time but the energy here is the empress in reverse so there's this external influences there's a lot of neediness a lot of um you know uh i feel like me 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 a lot of me 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 a lot of neediness neediness and like you know people coming and people needing and wanting and you know and just like you know maybe even pulling us from all kinds of directions there's a lot of needs here um and and a lot of uh you know the empress is there's a lot of resistance is what i feel with this empress right here in the external influences what i really feel here is a lot of um, resistance like a lot of fear I'm afraid to set myself out there I'm afraid to go after this new opportunity because you know in the upright um, the Empress is a very beautiful creative energy that is about new beginnings and, and you know and abundance and stuff but here what I'm getting the energy that I'm getting anyway is fear and it's like I'm afraid to go after this new opportunity I'm afraid of what's out there I'm afraid to put myself out there so that I feel like there's a lot of resistance and there also could be a lot of like coldness we could be dealing with a lot of a lot of people that like I was saying are me 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 and there's a lot of coldness in the energy so there's so much going on here with these communications that are about to take place with Venus going into Mercury Sagittarius full moon today there is so much going on and I feel like you know it's gonna be it's gonna be one and two things new relationships and breakups I mean they're both gonna be happening simultaneously there it's like it's going to be crazy it's going to be just really crazy and i think we're going to be faced with a lot of coldness a lot of neediness a lot of victim victimization or um, victim you know with that ten of swords being down here um feeling like the victim playing the victim you know and spirit doesn't want you to be the victim spirit doesn't want us to be the victim we're not the victim life is happening for us i mean i know that's shitty and that's hard to you know grasp sometimes especially when things are just so chaotic and crazy but it's true and when we get on the other side of the hurdles things do you know smooth out and we see those things that it was actually happening for us 
So, hopes, dreams, and fears. We have the four of coins in reverse. So, there, um, and this does coincide with the current energy too. A lot of you know um, money, money talks. Uh, a lot of purchases, making big purchases, that kind of stuff. Um, so, in our, it being in our um, hopes, dreams, and fears, um, we could be, you know, okay, so the four coins in the upright, you know, it's usually like a miser kind of energy. It's um, holding back or, or something like that. But here, being in reverse, it's... It's like your, um, hmm. it's almost like, you know, like I was saying, that energy there is there of the fear and the resistance. It's almost like you're afraid to let go. So that's where the, the internal struggle is happening. And like I said, uh, spirit started with this number 43 to start with and to go with and because you can't change nobody but you. And um, so what I feel here is um, in our hopes, dreams, and fears, we're afraid. We're really afraid to let go of the old. We're afraid to let go of the old behaviors, the old relationships, the old, you know, whatever. Because they, no matter how good or bad they are, they're familiar. They are familiar. And as humans, we get in that comfort zone, right? And we like that, um, you know, familiarness so so I feel like here we're not wanting to let go we're we're actually we are resisting this and there's a resistance in the energy but the thing of it is is all of this energy right now this is divine energy this is like spirit coming in and like there's a great big wheel in the sky and spirit is coming in and saying you know what you can resist all you want I'm gonna turn this wheel with or without you right so the more resistance we put into it, the harder the shift is and the harder it is on us. So here it's like, um, I feel like spirit is, you know, telling us, you never know till you get to the other side, right? You never know till you get to the other side. And so release those fears. I really feel a resistance here, really strong. Um, this is where I was talking about we might start to need a little more clarification because, like I say, there's a couple of energies coming in today. Um, in the potential outcome, coupled with the future, it's, let me see here. So in the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Swords in the upright, and we know that that is self-limiting beliefs. That's us. A scene that a scene the like the um, negatives really that's what that really is it's kind of like you know you're only seeing the negatives you're seeing what you can't do what you don't have what you know uh, what's missing all of that you're not seeing what's there right and so you're holding yourself back it's like you're tying your own wrist um, we have this with the ace of cups in reverse so there is it's like um, the Ace of Cups and, you know, in the upright, it's, it's pure love just flowing. It's overflowing. It's like this big, beautiful cup, and it's just overflowing with love. But, and emotion, right? You're just, you're just able to flow in the emotions. But here, in this potential outcome, what we have right now is um, blocked emotions, blocked energy. And we're the ones blocking it. That's the thing. That's the whole message is we're the ones blocking it because we're afraid to let go. We're afraid to step out on that new, in that new chapter. It's something totally different. It's not familiar. It's not comfortable. So we're, we're terrified, you know, to release ourselves here in this potential outcome. And I, I don't like this. I don't like this for a potential outcome. I really don't. I feel, I mean, I hope that we can move past this. Um, but what I'm really seeing here, currently, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work on our part. We're really going to have to go in deep and, I mean, dig deep. And, and we're going to have to, you know, make that choice. Are we going to continue to hold ourselves back? Or are we going to allow, you know, the divine to come in and shift our world, change it, and give us the life that we've been dreaming of. 
right? The relationships and the life that we're dreaming of. It's our choice. We are the co-creator of our lives. So we can, it's, it's totally in our hands at this point. We can keep resisting. Whether we resist or, or we, you know, if we continue to resist, um, it's not going to change. Like, like I was saying, it's, the spirit's going to shift the wheel regardless. We can make it easy on ourselves or we can make it harder on ourselves. And right now what I see is we're making it pretty hard. And right here at the, um, the future, we have the world in reverse and then we have the devil in reverse. So um, this right here. This is like what I what I really get, and some of you may have already been feeling this energy that's being channeled here today. You may have been working through this for a very long time, like years, years and years, right? Because that's the way these planetary energies work. But you may have been working on this for a very long time, and during the process, you may have lost like zest for life. You may have felt very empty and alone. You know, you may have um, just like felt like life was just standing still and, and like, like what's the purpose, right? With that world being in reverse right here and then coming together with the devil in reverse. The devil in reverse, this is, um, you know, like, like reclaiming your power, right? It's taking your power back because when it's in the upright, the devil has control. But when it's in reverse, you're taking that power back. So it's it's as if we are going to, which I do like this. I really do like this part that we are actually going to eventually get there to where we actually do say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to hold myself back anymore. I'm going to let this happen. I'm going to allow it. You know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to open Pandora's box and I'm going to let hope out, right? Because, you know, at the, at the bottom of Pandora's box is hope. So hope never gets out because hope is always, we always shut the box. So let's open the box. We're going to open the box and we're going to release the hope. And that's what is truly beautiful. The hope is, is we're going to reclaim our power. We're going to reclaim our inner person, our inner child, our inner desires, inner dreams, all of those things. And we're going to stop holding ourselves back in toxic relationships, um, partnerships, uh, you know, and these relationships are not just romantic I'm talking best friends you know cousins brothers sisters I don't I mean relationships we are going to be shifting these relationships we, the those of us that have been held back for a long time riddled with pain and grief and suffering from from possible you know takers we're going to we're going to shift we're going to let go i'm hearing that song by um uh l king uh let go i was waiting for the let let go and that is the line that spirit has given me it's like i was waiting for the let go so maybe go listen to that song guys uh but i feel like we've all been waiting for this this particular release right here this release and this sagittarian energy right this Sagittarian energy, Sagittarian people, you know, they're adventurous. They are, ma I mean, they're magnetic, charismatic, but they like their freedom. They like to dive into the world and just see what happens. And so I think this release right here has been coming for a while. And the fact that it's like uh, lining up with Gemini or Venus going into Gemini, I think that's beautiful. Because I think that these epiphanies that are going to happen spirits talking about seeing things in a different way or these breakthroughs because that's what this is too these uh, breakthroughs epiphanies that are going to happen they are going to i mean just set us up for something truly amazing something truly beautiful so i really i really like this for us guys i i hope that you do too um I really, you know, I was thinking I might have to clarify, but I feel pretty good about that. I feel like that, that, that that's exactly, you know, the message that we need to hear today. So I am going to um, go in here and I'm going to get us a couple Believe in Your Own Magic. And then I'm going to get us some mindful messages that help us through this energy. And then I'm going to open up the floor. Hello, everybody. I see you all. I've missed you guys so much. 
I have missed you so much. I'm, I'm so sorry I haven't been on here that much. Um, but life is happening for us all. <laughs> We're all going through these shifts, these changes. Here we go. Highest energy, spirit. Highest energy. Thank you. Thank you. What did we get? We got one. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so if any of you are resonating as twin flames, any of my twin flames out there, the, there could be something definitely here for you today. Uh, we started with number 43, vision. Spirit is giving us now 34. So mirrored numbers 43 and 34, that's two sevens. So sevens could be highly significant for us during this time. You know, it's also that, uh, that Cancerian energy, the energy of the chariot, forward movement, taking a direction, going for it. But there's also that energy of cancer, nurturing, protecting yourself, taking care, going in, going inside and really just, you know, taking care of yourself. We've been talking about this for weeks too, making sure we're getting the water. Spirit keeps bringing me back to that. Make sure you're getting your water in. It's highly, highly important. Good food. What are you feeding your body, right? But number 43, it says, Voyage, you already have all the answers. Spirit, seriously, come on now, guys. Look, Spirit is telling you, go inside. Whatever answers you seek are inside you. They're not here today with me. They might be a little bit of guidance, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of different shift, a different thought process, something like that. But the message that you need the most is right in here. So go inside. This is amazing. Look at this here. Vision 43. To find enlightenment, seek nowhere, for it lives inside you or within you. And then 34. Voyage. You already have all the answers. It's in you. It's in you, guys. Everything you seek is within you. That is a that's a beautiful message. I like that spirit. You are the map. You are the map. You are the key to your happiness, to the life that you want. You just have to free yourself. You have to, to free yourself, that Eight of Swords energy. It's hard, believe me, I know. It's hard to free yourself from seeing things, thinking certain ways and, and things like that. It's not easy. Mindful messages, Spirit. Mindful messages, what should we be mindful of? As we're going through this energy. What should we be mindful of? These cards are a little sticky. It's all this humidity. What should we be mindful of? Thank you. Oops, thank you. Okay, right off the bat, I'm seeing the star magic. Heart, uh, it's green, so heart chakra energy. This one came off the table, so this one might be a little bit hard for us, um, but we have breathe. It is easy for me to return to the present moment simply by breathing. If I am feeling anxious or worried, I close my eyes and breathe in deeply as I picture myself filling up with white light. Then exhale and envision stress and tension leaving my body. In this moment, I am free to gently stretch and open my eyes feeling refreshed. So, if you can give yourself two minutes, five minutes, one minute, do that. Breathing will always recenter you. Um, breathing, one breath is a conscious meditation. So, breathing will always center you. I always like doing that. It feels so good. So we have um, definitely right here with this blue also is throat chakra energy. So reiterating that there is going to be communication. It's going to be love talks, guys. Love talks. Love talks. We're building something new here, too. Next, we have magic. So we have heart chakra energy coming out with the throat chakra blue. There is magic and miracles all around me. Whether other, where others see coincidence, I see evidence of life synchronicities. I love filling life with wonder and magic. It's way more fun that way. Way more fun that way. 
And then we have a vision board, inspiration board. And remember, we did start with that vision in the beginning. Uh, inspiration board. If ever I am feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home. I fill it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration and joy. So create those vision boards. If you can't create one, you know, physical, physically, if you cannot create one, go on Pinterest. Create you one over there. You can create all kinds of boards, you know, over there that will definitely help you. Um, and believe in yourself. Remember, it's all in you. Love yourself, nurture yourself. Look, it's all on this card. You can do it. It's all in this card. Take care of you. Take care of you, boo. <laughs> Take care of you. All right, guys. So that's it. Hello. Rye. Hi, Rye. Just want, um, I'm going to read these here in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and put these cards up. I'm going to say hi to everybody. Oh, man, I forgot my mouse inside, so this is going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm not great with the computer here. Nahal, hey, girl. How you doing, sweetie? I have missed you, too. I have missed all of you. Can I have a reading um, for a curious career question? Absolutely. You know you can, girl. Mina, hi, Mina. Oh, you're new. Welcome, welcome. Um, can I have a message? Absolutely. Let's see who else is here. Hey, Sharon. Well, you're new too, I think. Yeah, I have a Sharon, but I, it's not you. Hi. Hey, Claire. How you doing? Sherry, girl, how you doing? Uh, I hope you're doing good. Did you see that storm yesterday, Sherry? Holy cow. Huh. Ah. I got a video, I got a video out of it. I swear, I think it was a tornado. I think it was a tornado. All right, guys, so for those of you that are new here, I do this a little bit different. I use the tea leaf cards to answer all your questions. And um, I have them separated in two piles. Oh, that one stayed over there, let's see. An egg, something is hatching. All right, so anyway, I have these set in two piles, and um, it's just kind of my way. One, you can, they're hard to shuffle with <laughs> all together because there's like 200. But it's also my way of letting you um, be a little more engaged in your own reading. So uh, you can choose. You can ask for a general reading, or you can ask a specific question. Um, you can choose from Amethyst, Pile 1, or Agate, Pile 2. So when you are shooting your question, let me know which pile you want me to pull from. And I'm gonna, I'm not doing these in any, in any order because it's kind of hard to keep up. So I will just do the best that I can. And also for those of you that have a more, you know, yes or no question, I also have my um, pendulum here so we can get a little more clarification if we need to. All right, Mina, I'm gonna start with you because pile one. <laughs> You're the first one to shoot that pile number up there. And you had said just a general, right? Any news coming your way? Wait a minute. I'm seeking for a teacher job. Okay, hold on. Thanks. Thanks, Nahal. Where is that? I'm trying to find that comment, Nahal. Okay. Oh, that's you. Okay. Okay, Nahal. I got you. I got you. Okay, we're going to start with Mina. Nahal will go to you next. Okay. Can I have a message? Anything coming my way? Anything good? All right. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This is for Mina. Mina. Highest energies, please. Highest energies for Mina. Mina. Okay, Mina, so the first thing I'm picking up is there there could be something falling away or falling, something about falling, because one card just kind of fell, so I'm getting something about falling, something falling apart, something falling away, something, it could be something you're leaving behind, Mina, oh wow, oh wow, girl, Mina, Mina. Okay. Ooh. 
minus. Okay, thank you. Okay, so <coughs> Mina. <laughs> Sorry about that, girl. Okay, so um, yeah, I was getting falling, something falling, or falling apart, falling away. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine cards, so energy of the hermit. Uh, Virgo energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo, but the one thing that I'm wondering that is falling away is this one card that fell on the floor. So I kind of just want to see, yeah, haystack karma. You will reap what you have sown. So that could be that could be something good or bad. Um, I feel like you know it's. Um, You could even be looking for something. So maybe something, you know, something fell, something, something is, I don't know, lost or something. You could be looking for something. But uh, karma coming in, karma coming in, going inside. We have a lot of energy here, Mina. You have nine cards, as I was saying. That's Hermit Energy, Virgo. Um, one of them, out of all of them, is face down. So that I can't see it. So I feel like there's something hidden. Something that might be off. You may have thought it was in the recent past. You may you may have thought it was something left behind. Or something lost. Or something like that. But it might resurface is what I'm getting here. And this is really strange energy. But let's, let's go into the cards what they have. So first we have the peacock. It says beware of great pride. So this could be actually indicating people, you know, people um, beware because that energy was coming in in the collective reading. The energy was coming in where we're letting go of toxic people, toxic behaviors, all that kind of stuff. So this could be spirit saying that they're going to be removing some of these energies from you. This could also be about having conversations with all that blue one there. Um, this could be, wow, are we letting go of somebody? There's a nervousness, too. I don't know if you can see my hands, Nina, but I'm trembling. Now, I don't know if this is your energy, sweetheart, or someone near you or what, but I am trembling, and there's something about communicating, and it may be those cold talks, those hard conversations, because you have December coming in here, and December is more of a harsh, you know, kind of weather, that cold breeze. See how it, See how it's blowing, that cool breeze? Um, we were getting that energy of cold talks, and I'm getting it now. I'm getting, like, um, cold shoulder. You may be pulling away from something. I don't know. I, I, it's just, um, we'll see what happens. We have it coming in with the wealth card, though. Following December, the wealth. Okay. Raping what you have sown. Great pride, cold talks, wealth, wealth. Hmm. Um, I don't know, like, because the energy here, the energy here, Mina, so far is like you've pulled away or possibly pulled away or something fell away, something drifted off. Maybe someone drifted out of your life or something like that. They weren't necessarily that good for you. Might have got a cold shoulder. Might have had a lot of cold conversations, non-emotional, you know, really distant, silent, that kind of that kind of stuff. And then, and then after, you know, after we have this wealth coming in. And so what I feel like Spirit is saying here is that your abundance is coming. You know, something, there's going to be a change that shifts whatever has been going on in your life. I don't, um, I don't really feel it. I don't really feel this as money. I feel this as lots of different things. I, I mean, the energy here is just there's like an abundance. It's like raining cats and dogs, right? It's just like coming in, coming in, coming in. So you might start actually receiving money from lots of different places. You might even receive money from someone that you left behind in a long time ago um, that were not necessarily that good for you. I don't know because it's coming in right after that. 
And then next we have the flute. I don't, okay, wait a minute. I don't know if this person like took money from you, took resources from you, held resources over your head or, or held money. And I hate saying that, but the, it's coming out. We have the flute. It says disappointment in a friend or a lover. So, and there's, it's like the energy, the shaking is starting to go away a little bit. So I feel like you're starting to pull away from this. Man, this person was a shithead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we have the mule coming in too. Someone who is extremely stubborn, unwilling to change. I, I really feel like you really dealt with someone that was just a shithead. And, you know... You might be, uh, you're pulling away though. I, I do feel a pull away. What do we have? Okay, so the card that was, okay. I like that. Okay. All right. All right. So we're getting there. Okay. Okay, good. Because man, I wasn't liking that energy, girl. I was like, God, I hope that she's pulling away from this because I mean, this is some shitty energy. But um, I see you giving him the boot, giving, giving it the boot, like the boot is here. It says, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So, Spirit here telling you, you know, to just keep putting in that work. And I know it's so hard, but keep putting in that work. You've already, the hardest part is over because you've pulled away. Hopefully, you've pulled away because that's the energy that I really feel. Um, excuse me. So, hopefully, you've pulled away and the hardest part is over. So, now, it's just keep putting in that work. But give it to you because you started, you know, that number nine, the hermit energy that's all about you going within. That's going in there and taking care of Mina. Giving Mina what he didn't. Giving Mina what whoever didn't. You know, you you providing the things, your needs, your love, giving yourself that nurture and that care. Um, next we have the vine coming in. It says, seek out information that will help you. So this is further reiterating to go inside and get the answers that you seek. Go inside. They are all inside you. You you are the map. Remember that. You are the map. You are the key. Um, last but not least, we have um, the feather coming in. So I feel like there could be some communications coming in. You could be starting to get some messages. I see you talking about work. You do have the wealth card. And this, as I'm laying it down, is coming in under... Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm outside. Um, but as I'm laying the, the feather down it's coming right underneath the wealth. So you could start receiving meta, um, messages about job offers or job opportunities. I do feel that that is going to come um, for you. And continue to go inside yourself and uh, rely on yourself, sweetheart. Listen to yourself because you're bright. You're, you know, follow your intuition. Follow your guidance. But I do see you starting to get messages and, and I do see it starting to pick up and you will you will reap what you have sown, okay? You will reap your rewards. You will have abundance. It will be there. It's just going to take more work. It's going to take a lot of hard work. I know that sucks, but that's kind of how spirit is. <laughs> but, sweetheart, that's what I got for you. Man, that, that was a lot. That was kind of hard to kind of pull that together. I was like, oh, gosh, wow. Um... Uh, Rye, no, honey, that wasn't for you. That was for uh, Mina. I'm getting ready to do Nahal, and then Rye, I will do you after that, and then uh, I will whoever pops up next for me to see. Uh, Nahal, which pile did you want? Pile one or pile two? Let's see if I can. Oh my goodness. Oh, honey, we yeah, a narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we're all trying to pull away from, but we're, we're holding ourselves back, right? Because we're so, hey, Jennifer, welcome. We're kind of holding ourselves back because we're afraid of the unknown. We're afraid, you know, of moving forward, of stepping out of that comfort zone, you know? Um, okay, Nahal, I'm not seeing you, so I'm going to move on to Rye. Um, I'll come back to you. Because it's hard to scroll down. Hey, Claire, Pile 2, how's your health? All right, let's go into Rye. Rye, did you have a question? 
Thank you so much, Spirit Gods and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, your ancestors and loved ones. This is for Rye. For Rye. 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 Highest energies, please, for Rye. 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 Hey, Nahal. Let me know which pile you want, girl. I'll come back to you, okay? Rye. Okay, so, Rye, I don't know. I am seeing a woman. I don't know if you're dealing with a woman or having some dealings with a woman, but I am seeing a woman. Dark hair. Um, dark hair could be uh, dark, dark, kind of darker complexion. Not real, you know, not extremely dark, but that went off the table. Oh, okay. You may have a wish coming true here, Rye. You may have something to do with a woman or feminine energy, but what I'm really seeing is a woman with dark hair. Um, this went off the table. You got four cards here, Rye, so that gives me um, Emperor Energy. Um, going back to the tarot, that's Emperor Energy, so that's leadership, but it's also the fourth house in the astrology, so your foundation, your stability your family life, those kinds of things. You have two face up, two face down. So it's like, um, I get like, like you're partially seeing, like you're partially seeing something is what I'm getting with these two. It's like half and half. You see one side, you don't see the other or something. But what I do have for you here is the wishbone and um, you might be getting a wish granted okay could be receiving some sort of wish you might research um, you might hear about it from a woman I don't know I'm really getting a woman with you I don't know why but I am now you're also this wishbone is coming out with the skull so I feel like here it says hidden secrets can harm you so I I almost like I was saying there's half truth half and half here like you see half of something but you don't see the other half and so what I feel like um, this is like um, a cautionary, um, let's say, a, I don't want to say warning, but like a, um, spirit telling you right to be caution, you know, to proceed with caution because I see a wish being granted, but it's being followed by the skull and it says hidden secrets can harm you. So this could be about something that you feel you want or feel you would like to have or wish you made um, although it may it may not be right for you this particular wish so go inside the collective message was uh, you know saying to go inside all the answers are within you so go inside there and figure it out, see mm. oh wow okay Chairfield, dark-haired woman, someone um, new is entering your life. So um, if you were hoping for a relationship, I don't know your situation. I, I, I've never met you. This is your first time here. But what I'm getting here is if you were hoping with a, for a relationship possibly with someone else, that might not be the best thing for you. And there, there might be a possibility that spirit has a little hidden special someone for you. And it could be um, someone with dark hair. Now, it doesn't have to be male or female. That's just the energy that I'm picking up. But someone new is entering your life. The last... Oh, wow. <laughs> I love this for you, actually. Um, if you're resonating with this, Rye, I hope you are. But I love this for you. This person that is, you know, going to enter your life, it's going to bring a lot of happiness, a lot of sunshine. We have the sun coming out. It says happiness and well-being. So it's like you guys are going to harmonize and fulfill each other. There's going to be a lot of happiness. And it doesn't have to be a romance. This could be any kind of relationship. You know, um, a friend or a, a colleague or, or anything. Where you might have seen something that you thought was, was for you. But it's not for you because there's something better waiting for you. Do I know them already? Let's see. Let's see. It's 
Spirit, show me yes. Show me yes. Thank you. Show me no. Show me no. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Does Rai know this person already? Does Rai know this person already? Yes. Yes. Does Rai know this person already? Yes, you do. My pendulum swings um, front to back for yes and side to side for no. And yes, it's not very strong. It's getting stronger, as you can see. I am not moving it. Um, but it's getting stronger, so it's not very strong. So it could be, <clears throat> excuse me, it could be someone that you recently met, someone that you haven't known very long. It could be rather new. Is it Calvin? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Is, it, is this person Calvin? Is it Calvin? Is it Calvin? According to the pendulum, yes. It's going front to back. According to the pendulum, yes, it is Calvin. Right. Um, well, I hope that helps you. That's what I got for you. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> I would love to know. I would absolutely love to know. Okay. All right, let's see, Who was, where was I? Um, I was going to go with Nahal. Okay, and I need to get to <laughs> Claire. Okay. All right, Claire, all right, Claire, pile two is my health. How is my health? How is her health? And then Nahal, you're next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, to my mother and father. This is for Claire. How is her health? How is her health? How is her health? General health. Mental, spiritual, physical. How is she doing? How is she doing entirely? Emotionally, what's her health like? What's her health like? Her health. Claire, what's her health like? How's she doing? Claire. 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 Thank you. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, how is she doing? How is she doing? Claire. Right, Claire you got seven so the number seven could be significant for you we had that energy coming up um, you have two that are face down I can't see what they are so this could be something that's going to happen something's gonna pop up or something like that the rest are up here um, where I can see them it's almost like a um, the way they lined up here, it's almost like a past, present, future energy. The two that I can't see are in the recent past. Hi, Carolyn. Uh, yes, the two that I can't see are in the recent past. So I'm going to look at them first. And I do feel like they might be in the recent past. Now, that two, they're bringing me to two. So this too could be about contracts or um, your relationships, but it could be about communication, something in communication. Um, it could also be about harmony. Oh, wow. Okay. So recently, in the recent past, what I'm seeing here is um, you have a well and you have the purse that's overflowing. Um, family wishes coming true. The purse is overflowing. It says pay attention to your finances. So, in the recent past, you may have made, like, a large um, 
or you may have actually received like a um, some money or or something from family some kind of some some kind of abundance or something what is this about though Pay attention to your finances, family wishes. You may have received something um, from family or something, but there, if so, there could be something. Um, might be a little bit of communication problems with that or a little bit arguing. Maybe somebody else kind of feeling like it was meant for them or something. You know, like inheritances. I'm d I mean, the energy's coming out. I know you're talking about your health, so I don't know if this... This could even be about you... You know, like, um, communicating your will, um, writing up your will or, or something like that. That's kind of, you know, the energy that's, that's coming through here is like, there's some kind of inheritance or something and it may be in the recent past, but it may be about money. Um, right here in the present danger. I see, um, I see you not resting very well. I see a lot of unease. I see a lot of um, anxiety. Um, spiritually, your angels are trying to communicate with you and trying to help you. They're trying to um, help shift and bring in some change for, for you. Um, could be in regards to your health. Uh, because the first thing that we have here is the bear. And it says danger, especially in money matters. So this really could be about your will. You could be like trying to figure it all out. And man, I know that can be really hard because you're thinking of all those people that you love and care for and what you want to give this person, that person. Um, but there's something here about money. It could be um, even, you know, the bills coming in from health or something. Um, there's something here. But I just want you to see that that bear is kind of just laying there, you know, ready to, you know, just bite whatever walks by, right? So I feel like there is, there could be, oh man. So there could be something to worry about, but what I really feel is it's not necessarily physical. What I see here is a lot of mental and um, emotional and spiritual energy. I, um, you have the hammock. So this could be a warning to rest because you have this the bear and then you have the hammock coming in after it and the hammock is coming in in reverse and I don't usually read these in reverse but this one I am being guided to note that it is in reverse and it says taking a vacation physically or mentally so what I feel it coming up in reverse is you're not allowing yourself time to rest you're not giving yourself what you need you might be um, like giving so much of yourself to everybody else and you're not keeping any for you you know where you're not taking care of yourself and and what I get here with the angel coming in after that is your angels are trying to get you to take care of you to give yourself that little tiny fraction because you're important too right you're important in the world of all the people you're taking care of you are important too and and your angels want you to know that it's a spiritual guidance protection for from harm so they are trying to protect you from possibly, you know, it could be a lot of conversations, a lot of bickering, a lot of, um, you know, fighting um, over, it could be over an estate or something like that. But just people, you know, kind of up against you and just giving you a lot of uh, mental and emotional um, upset, just keeping you kind of in a state where you're, you might be walking on eggshells, and I'm sorry, Claire, I, I, I really am, because that's no energy none of us want to, you know, deal with at all, and, you know, your guides are saying, you know, to fix my lip, <laughs> to um, protect yourself, to take some time for you, that you matter too, and allow these changes to come through. It, it takes a lot, especially when you're a person that has given, 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 given of yourself and never really kept a little bit for yourself. It's, it takes so much energy to try to put yourself first for, for a change, right? It, it, it's so hard. You go through so much, but once you do, 
it opens you up to such a beautiful life, such, such abundance and such happiness, right? Butterflies, these are messengers too. So they're definitely bringing you messages. If you see butterflies, particularly orange, that orange, because orange is coming through here. Um, but if you see butterflies, it could be an indication that things are on the up. Uh, right now, what I really see is a lot of mental and, and emotional stress. And you could even be physically stressed out because when you're drained from um, emotional and mental stimulation, it physically drains you too. So, you know, this could be about, you know, this well right here and paying attention to your finances. This could be about filling your cup, right? Because you can't pour from an empty cup. Filling your cup and pay attention to your needs. Pay attention to what you need, what your body needs, what your mind and your spirit and your soul, your inner child, your inner self is telling you that you need. That could be um, what Spirit is saying here too. Last but not least, um, you know, you're going to make it, I hate this, but you are going to make it through. It's going to take work and it's perseverance. It pays off. So start putting yourself first because you're going to start to reap the reward and you're going to start to reap the benefits and your health is going to love you. Your, your spirit, your mind, your soul, it is going to love you. Your body is going to love you. So it's going to, you know, it takes so much work, but you're going to get there. You're definitely going to get there. Just um, beware of those people that are biting for you, you know, um, or biting at your heels, right? Beware of those people and release them. If there's someone that you can release, let them go because it's, you know, it's important for your health. So that's what I got for you, sweetie. I hope that it helps you and I wish you the absolute best. Um, hey, Carolyn. Hello. Let's see. All right, now let's get to Nahal. Nahal, I'm seeking a job te or a teacher. Wait a minute. I'm seeking for a teacher job, and it's a competition, okay? I studied for the exam because it's too hard, but someone offered me like an intermediate to make it easy. Easy, get it, Will. Will it work? What will happen? Did you pick a pile, sweetie? I don't remember if you picked a pile. Pile one? Pile one? Is that what you... I'm going up. Try to see. I'm hearing pile one, so maybe I did see it. Uh, will I get the get the intermediate job? Career. Nahal. Okay. All right. I don't know, Nahal. I'm feeling pile one. I'm hearing pile one, so I'm going to go with that. I, I, I mean, you, you've been here, so... <laughs> you know how that goes. All right, Nahal. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This is for Nahal. Will she get the intermediate job? What's up with this? How's it going to play out? It's a competition. How will she fare? How will she do? Will she get the, will she get the intermediate job? Will she get the intermediate job? You're welcome, Claire. Sweetheart, I wish you the best. I tell you what, I've been feeling that too. So you're not alone. Believe me. <laughs> we are all connected. You are not alone. Nahal, will she get the... Will she get it? One more time. Ah, I like that. It's flexible. So Nahal, one thing I'm getting is remain flexible. Adaptable. This uh, Gemini energy, you know, it's going to hit some of us pretty hard. I don't know uh, your sign. Um, I, I'm getting, go to go to your chart in the hall and see what's going on with Gemini. Where is it at in your chart and what's, what's going to, you know, how this energy is going to play out. But this is about abundance, you, you know, because Venus is moving into Gemini. Venus is ruled by Taurus and that's about money. It's not, you know, it's about finances and wealth and money and abundance and, um, you know, stability. So, check that out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> um, 
Okay, Nahal, so what we've got is two cards fell out together. They fell out right together, and what I'm getting is contracts. So, with that being said, without even looking at the cards yet, three. What's the three, sweetie? Uh, I gotta rewind. What was the three? Well, tell me in a minute. Oh, oh my God, Nahal. I don't know what you're talking about that three, but I just noticed it. Is it th maybe three people are are in? I'm waiting for the comments to come up, sweetheart. They take a minute, but um, I thought <laughs> I thought I saw two cards, and I was saying two in the contracts, and you know, so there's negotiations, there's you know, there's talk, right? And you then I look up and I see that three that you put there, right? And then I pick up the cards because I was going to say with the two coming out and the negotiations, contracts, I feel like you're in the running, right? Is what I was really getting, like you're in the running. And then I pull the cards out and I start to spread and there's three. Three cards. Three is the energy of the Empress. It is something new. It's an opportunity. It's, some, it's a blessing. It's a gift. It's a new creation, and it Venus or <laughs> Taurus, <laughs> Venus ruled. It's ruled by Venus, so I feel like you know you do have, um, yeah, possibly something coming in three. So number three could be significant for you, Nahal. But let's go ahead and take. Oh my gosh, do you remember, guys, at the beginning when I opened up the floor and I told you guys that? Um, uh, one of the cards fell on the table and I said, there's something hatching. I don't know if you remember that, but look, you got the golden egg, baby. You got the golden egg and that is the first, that is the card that fell out and I said something was hatching. There was an egg, something is hatching. Success assured with good plans and hard work. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep the conversations open. Keep, maintain flexible, right? Be adaptable. Be like Gemini, because that's your, that's your, um, like your total opposite. Be like Gemini, your Sagittarian, and be open and flexible and mutable to the energy, to the conversations, uh, you know, flow in the conversations. Allow yourself to flow. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. Empress energy brings the stork. News of a birth or a business opportunity. Two out of three. Two out of three, Nahal, say yes. Keep your eye on the prize. There's something birthing here. Oh, my God. I love this. <laughs> I love this for you. Nahal, I love this for you. Look, the ladder. Climbing towards success. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You chose one. That's the one. That's the pile I took from. That's the pile I took from. I, I thought I saw you pick one and I, and you did. So that's good. These did come from that deck and all three of them. Look at this. Look at this energy. Girl. I think this is a yes. I think this is a straight up yes. You are going to get the um, the intermediate job, and you are going to excel, and you are going to climb that ladder. Remain adaptable. Remain flexible. Uh, communicate your needs. Communicate um, the things that you know um, your qualities. Those kinds of things. Just keep letting them see you, and also be open to the communication. Be open to what they're um, offering and, and uh, what you're going to receive. But yes, I definitely. <laughs> this is beautiful, Nahal. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I think you got it. It's in the bag, baby. It's in the bag. Come back and let me know how it went. I, I do believe you have it. So come back and let me know. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, sweetheart. I love you. Okay, let's see. Um, Claire. Sharon. Sharon, pile one, please. General message. All right, Sharon.
Thanks so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, to my mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. This is for Sharon. For Sharon. For Sharon. Highest message for Sharon. Highest, highest message for Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, just as I'm riffling for you, I'm getting this message, or the song, um, You've got the whole world in your hands. You've got the whole world in your hands. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. It's coming through. Maybe it's um, to remind you of everything that you have. I don't know. But it's coming in. Sharon. Highest energies for Sharon. Carolyn will do you next. Oh, thank you so much for sharing, Carolyn. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Sharon, look at this. Looks like you're going to be the first one to be um, a little quiet. Okay. There it comes. Ah, the moon. Secrets. Ooh, okay. All right. Sharon, normally I will riffle three times if nothing comes out. Um, and you're new here, so with my cards, when they go quiet like this, it's because there's conversations that conversations that need to take place, okay? Something being withheld, something not being communicated, something you're not sharing, it usually has to do with communication, opening up. But you have four cards. You have two that are face up that I can see and two that are face down. So there again, there's a split energy. And we, I have been talking about this for weeks, um, of us being in that in-between energy because we kept getting lots of tens and, you know, tens reduce further down to a one. And so when I get a ten and a one, I get this in-between energy. We're not quite where we've ended something has ended and something's about to start but we're in the center and it nothing is really we're in limbo right we're kind of in that limbo so right here there could be some of that limbo where you're in between uh leaving something behind and maybe starting something new and and the cards that are face up which i already um noted was the moon the moon represents our emotions those things are hidden those things only we feel, only we truly know. So um, it can also represent secrets, things like that. So I did, I did pick up on energy of, um, you know, secret, something hidden, and this could be indicating what is hidden, you know, not in my sight right now. What I'm not seeing, these cards I'm not seeing, but what's coming up with the changes in your life? The moon card here it says changes in your life, right? And what it's coming out with is the scissors. So here, disappointment and some affair. So there you are releasing something, cutting the cord, letting go of something, making a change in your life, shifting your life, taking control even, right? Taking control of your life and letting go of something that was disappointing, that was no longer possibly good for you. Um, that may have been, you know, hindering you and holding you back, right? It could be that. Now, what are we seeing here? It says shark. Sorry, there's a guy on this bicycle that has a motor on it. It's a little loud. Anyway, so back to your reading. So we have the shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So okay so you you could be we're talking about relationships today sharon and um the energy that's coming out the communications that are taking place because we have venus moving into gemini at 4 30 this afternoon by the way the spirit is just reminding me 4 30 reduces down to that seven so that seven could be highly significant for the collective for sure but um, with Gemini moving into, or Venus moving into Gemini, there's going to be love talks. There's going to be communication about love. But there's also the full moon in Sagittarius. And so the full moons are about releases, right? About letting go, allowing changes. They're about phases, the end of a phase. We're cutting out something. 
we're cutting out a, um, something in our life and we're about to embark on something new now what I um, this card that you've got here you've got the shark so this could be what you're leaving behind um, it says take care or there will be a loss of material wealth I don't know your situation either if you are married possibly going to go through a divorce where there's going to be a splitting of the material so there won't be as much as there was or um, some situation like that or you're in maybe you're in a business partnership and the business is going to split you're going to pull away and you're going to go off on your own or something like that either way there's going to be a cut i think to the finances to the materials there's going to be some kind of cut there a loss there but don't fret don't fret because next you have it being followed in followed up by the carrot an opportunity or a windfall so everything that is happening right now is setting you up for a brand new opportunity where there is going to be so much abundance and growth there is uh, stability security here um, something better for you definitely better for you something that will feed your soul feed your spirit feed your mind and feed who you are so abundance is coming but I do see you cutting out a lot and and whatever this is that you're cutting out you may have kept this hidden you may have kept this even hidden from like a best friend a, a you know um, a confidant or something like this this may be something that you just kept to yourself you just really you know kept it deep with inside and you didn't really share it with anyone and now you're you know um, cutting it loose because it was just so so difficult and so disappointing for you and there were you know the loss is significant um, whether you're leaving someone behind or you're losing money or whatever it is, however it's playing out in your life, there's a significant loss that comes with this release, this let go that you're doing. But ultimately, it brings in abundance for you. Now, I, I was telling you I usually will go three times and the cards weren't really communicating, so I just want to thank you. I just wanted to see if I could get a little more on that carrot okay with the opportunity or windfall that's coming through for you and what spirit is bringing in for you is the wind chime so change is happening spirit is coming in and turning that wheel for you for sure but bringing about peace and harmony peace and harmony and opportunity and i am i'm hearing that there's nothing between you but air and opportunity you know nothing nothing between you and what you want but air an opportunity, okay? So go for it. Um, release this, let it go, and know that you are being protected. You are in, you know, um, the hands of spirit, God, universe, however you, re however it plays out for you. You are protected, okay? And you are being set up for something truly beautiful that's going to bring your life a lot more peace and harmony. Is what I'm really getting here for you, Sharon. Okay. All right, let's see here. Where are we at? Oh, no, Hall, I love you, sweetheart. You are an angel too, my dear. Let's see. Um, where was I? The test I put out was really worth it. I let go and let God because I realized what really is for me. I, absolutely, yes. It's about letting go of those attachments, right? You know, because what's right for us is going to come back around. I'm excited Calvin and I would reunite in a different time and in a different energy. He was my knight in my shining armor that gave me light, my knight in shining armor. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, honey, I hope that you guys do. I hope that you do, Rye. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, Carolyn. Carolyn. Sharon, honey, I hope that helped you. Carolyn, um, let's, let me go up a little bit further and see if you had picked a pile or had a question. Um, thank you. You did give me hope. Oh, good. Guys, I will come back and read all of these comments, and I will actually um, communicate with you there, too. And if anybody wants to book a, um, a private reading with me, a personal reading with me, I do offer those. There's a minimum donation of $10. That's it. It's a minimum donation of $10. And we can do any, you know, we can really dive into the cards for you and really help you out. Can I know via the pendulum if my health coach is a safe man? In just a moment, Rye, let me um, read the cards here for um, Carolyn. 
Okay, Carolyn, I didn't see uh, where you where you chose a pile. Um, I'm hearing pile two, but if you are still here, can you can you let me know which pile you would like, Carolyn? I'm getting pile two. I'm gonna get a drink here. There's another storm coming in. Have you guys been seeing these storms? We've been um, talking about them for like weeks. Uh, if you guys are in any areas where there's like flooding, um, lots of that kind of stuff, please, please do your absolute best to stock up on water, non-perishable foods. If, even if you can just create a little knapsack, something to tie you over till help can get to you. Very, very important. Spirit has been putting that energy, um, you know, I've been channeling it for like over a month with these storms, these, um, and they're, they're intensifying, they're intensifying. So, so uh, lots of uh, like record breaking national disasters is what we were talking or what we've been talking about. High, high, um, high heat, extreme heat, hotter than normal, but especially the humidity. So it might be like a lower degree temperature, like um, it might be 77, but it'll be so humid that it, it will feel like it's 97. I mean, it's just that kind of energy that, that's been coming up. Okay, Carolyn, I don't see you, sweetheart. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with pile two. That was what I was getting for you. And then Rye, we will ask that question. And then after that, I'm gonna have to get going because my battery's about to die. So I'm gonna have to get going. Um, and I need to go in and check on my grandson. So uh, look for, I'm gonna be doing a reading later. If you uh, don't mind, please go over to my YouTube and subscribe over there. I'd love to have you join me over there. I'm gonna be putting out an all signs reading later today. I will be getting to the reading. It should be posted today or tomorrow at the latest, but I am going to be working on that. So just letting you guys know. All right. All right. Carolyn, thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This is for Carolyn. Highest energies, please, for Carolyn. Highest energies for Carolyn. Somewhere over the rainbow, <laughs> way up high. That's what I'm getting for you, Carolyn. In a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Might want to listen to that song, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Interesting, Carolyn. I hear you, Bubby. Interesting, Carolyn. We have three cards that came out, so that's Empress Energy. Could be dealing with a mother. That's the first thing that comes to my mind when I mention the Empress is a mother. So you could be dealing with a mother. Um, this could be about a baby, a birth, a new, um, becoming a mother, or uh, maybe your, your daughter becoming a mother. Yeah, maybe a daughter. That's what I'm getting. Maybe a daughter becoming a mother. Or, or you might receive some news that someone's pregnant or you might receive a news of like some sort of opportunity. Um, it, it doesn't have to be a physical pregnancy or something, but it could be uh, um, like the birth of something new. A new idea, um, a new mindset, but I really am picking up a, a pregnancy with like a daughter maybe. Okay, but anyway, so we have three cards, but this is awesome. This is what I really think is interesting too. These tea cards, they have months in here and then they have these astral houses and then they have the tea leaves and they're all color coded. They're red or red, green and purple. And so that shows me, um, I was getting that song, you know, somewhere over the rainbow. Um, so, uh, adversity, differences, um, but I'm getting affinity too, so likenesses. Um, but this is like um, multifaceted personalities, multifaceted people, uh, multi like versatility maybe even. 
but there's something here about differences is what I'm really getting. So let's see. The first thing we have is January. We have the month of January, so that could be significant for you. Um, Capricorn could be dealing with a Capricorn is what I'm picking up with this January card. Um, could also be an Aquarius, but I'm getting a Capricorn first. Um, I'm getting a Capricorn first, but you could be dealing with a Capricorn. January could be significant. Oh, wow. Look at this. The well. We're, oh my gosh. Family wishes coming true. So I don't know if you're hoping for, you know, like a grandchild or, or even if you're in that state, uh, you know, maybe you're not even that old. Maybe you're not old enough to be a grandma. But, um, or you're hoping for a baby of your own. Whatever it is, I feel like there's a wish definitely being granted here, and I feel like it's something to do with possibly a baby. Marriage. Marriage. Three rings. All right. So marriage, three rings, I, I mean, um, you could be renewing vowels. I don't know if you are, but you could even be in some sort of polyamorous situation. Not saying you are. I'm just putting the energy out there. But this could even be like a, a pregnancy brings a marriage, brings, a, brings together a union or something. I need more. Carolyn, I need more. Okay, what's the marriage about? What's this marriage about? What's the marriage in the three? What's this about? For Carolyn. Shit. Two become three. That's what I just got, Carolyn. Two become three. That's what the marriage is about. Two become three. Um, these two came out, but they smacked together. Um, but you've got money, or the boat, money, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. And then you got the weeping willow. There's some, uh, there's some sadness. Okay, Carolyn, so I'm picking up another energy now, and I hope not, and if it is, my heart goes out to you, and I send you all my prayers and all my love because I've been there, and I know what this is like, um, but with this money coming out, the boat coming out, the family sorrow, inheritance, fam you know, there's like a loss, so there's a new birth coming from a loss. There's something happening here that stems from a loss. Um, that may have happened in your life and it, and I hope not and please God I say this with so much love and grace that I hope you I hope you're this is not the loss of a child because the child is coming in here big a baby a pregnancy something so it, it's like it comes after a loss. So maybe this is um, indicating that maybe in the recent past or something, the way those kind of cards flop, flop together, there may have been um, miscarriages or, or, or something like that. There may have been difficulties in conceiving or, or, or you know, um, in vitro may have done some like in vitro or something like that but there may have been some kind of difficulty here and there may have even been a miscarriage um or two i'm hearing and um now there's this new joy coming there's something coming here from this loss from this this sadness this grief two become three i'm getting two become three so definitely um i feel like your family's about to grow that's that's what I really get is like your family is about to grow um, but it comes after a loss I hate this I really hate this 
I like, I mean, I, I hate that the loss, I, 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 I hate the loss, but I love that, that there's good news on the way. There's, um, hopes and there's a wish coming true here and it's going to be fulfilling. It's definitely going to be fulfilling. All right. Um, Carolyn, I, I hope this helps you and I'm so sorry. I, I hate bringing the messages like that. Um, they're a little bit difficult and again I say I send you a lot of love and prayers especially if that resonates with you because that's some tough energy tough 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 energy okay alright guys I'm gonna move on to Rye real quick and answer this question and then I'm gonna get going please do again go on over to my YouTube channel and subscribe over there if you haven't and um, stay tuned for those zodiac reading I'm gonna do an all signs it's just more convenient for the life that I'm living now um, so I'm gonna do an all signs on that so you can just look for that today or tomorrow all right right here we go all right spirit show me yes Spirit, show me yes. Show me yes. Okay, seriously, show me yes. <laughs> show me yes. Show me yes. Thank you. Show me no. Show me no. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, can I know via the pendulum if my health coach is a safe man? Okay. Spirit, is Rise Health Coach a safe person? Are they a safe person, a safe man? Is there, is Rise Health Coach a safe man? Do you see this, Rye? No, not a safe man. Look at that, not a safe man. Flirt with, is he sincere and not going to hit me? Flirt with me, rather. He's not a safe man, sweetheart. Spirit. Spirit. Would this person hit Rye? Would this person hit Rye? Would this person hit him? Would this person hit Rye? Yes. Do you see that? I'm trying to hold it where you can see. It's slow moving. Would this person hit Rye? Yes, they would, and it's slow moving, so it's like it's almost like they would um, they would leave their mark in places that can't be seen. Know what I mean? They would leave their mark in places that can't be seen, so that there was no you know supporting evidence, so to speak. So um, yeah. Probably not for you, sweetie. Probably not for you. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. I will see you next time. Um, again, I'm not doing, you know, scheduled lives anymore. I'm here at my daughter's helping her with her children. She's a single mom, and um, she has three amazing, beautiful children, and one of them um, is uh, disabled and requires, you know, extra help. So it's, it, I'm helping with my grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, I pop on as much as I can, as much as time allows, and especially when Spirit is saying, get your ass over there. <laughs> but I love you guys, and I will see you as soon as I possibly can. Do go over to YouTube, check out my channel, subscribe, share, do all that great stuff. I love you for it. I can't do it without you. And I'll see you next time. Until then, take great care of yourself, and as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye. Find the off. <laughs>